friend in my last video you have seen how we can set up automation framework using dotnet we have seen that uh, we can add all the dlls we can create a class library project and we can add uh, spec flow rest sharp and an unit dlls today i am going to demonstrate how we can add the spec flow feature file and step definition file using dotnet So first we will see how we can write feature file. So just go to the solution explorer and you can right click on uh, class library and you can click on add. We just adding a new folder because uh, there are lots of features you can implement. So I'm just adding a feature as a folder and then we can add a feature file. So right click on it, add new item, so it will give you all the feature files. So just check the spec flow feature file, just change name for that. So I have just added API. So I'm just added API application dot feature file so it will be added to the folder So if you see appli API application dot feature, so you will see the feature name and it will give you the some basic scenario example. So I just remove this and we can add our own scenario. So I'm just writing get API response using given endpoint so whatever endpoint we have for that a particular api we will get the response for that so i have just written i just need to write given when and then so given i am have i have a endpoint that can be a any endpoint slash less account slash less anything and Since when uh, you have an endpoint, so you should have a one base URL that will be a server URL. So when you hit that server URL using endpoint, you will get the response. So I'm just adding and I have a base URL HTTP dot API HTTP colon slash less my domain dot com. It can be anything. then we can write when statements so when i call get method for this given endpoint and finally the then part so in then we will and just to verify what response we will get so i'm just writing a statement like then i get api response in json format so this will be the uh, actually uh, scenario where i am writing a scenario get api response using given endpoint then we have written given 
I have a endpoint slash endpoint and I have a base URL that is HTTPS or HTTP mydomain.com when I call get method of API then I will get the API response in JSON format so the feature file will be added to the project with the dot feature extension and you and your scenario test scenario will be written in Garking language in the format of given when then so what is endpoint the endpoint is a endpoint of a api is simply a unique url that represents an object or a collection of, of objects you will point your http client at to interact with the data sources resources and what is the base url the base url is used for all the operations formatted as http the server name and then slash rest api endpoint So how we can create a step definition? So I just demo. I will just demonstrate how we can add a step definitions and write the code. So again, go to the solution explorer. We just create one new folder that 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 is for the steps. Maybe you can just write step definition or steps. So all the steps file will be uh, class file will be coming to this folder. So again, just right click on it. And mostly uh, for the naming convention, we used to add the step definition name uh, same as feature file. So you will see step uh, you just click on add and you will see the step flow step definition spec flow step definition and you can type the same name whatever the feature file having so it will create create one class file that is api application.cs so how we can create a method for these and given when then so you just right click on the methods and click on the generate definition and copy the methods to the clipboard and paste in the inside the class I'm just removing unnecessary code from the definition and paste whatever you have copied so you will see all four methods will be copied to the api application.cs file and just save it so if you uh, see all the math all the statements are coming in the um, black letter previously it was in grace since we are sending the endpoint as a parameter so we just remove it from 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 this statement and we will put a bracket dot star and we will pass endpoint as a string so whatever endpoint we are sending from the given method it will come to the come as a parameter and same thing for we can do for uh, this base URL so bracket inside the bracket dot star and just uh, typing a string base URL So this will be the method for the step definition when you will save it and you just need to uh, click on F12 you just need to press F12 from your computer your keyword you will go to the method name so 
the step definition is a dot cs file and a sealed class which cannot be inherited that which uh, that is actually important point that uh, all the step definition class are sealed it cannot be inherited also class having a binding attribute above on the class name which means the step class is binding with the feature files all method having given when then attribute above on the method which given a statement same as the feature file so if you see the the namespace dot steps because we are we have created one step folder inside that we have created a class api application so if you see in this uh, example the public sealed class api application above this we are writing the binding so it's by default it's a written binding and the class will be the sealed class and if you see the given and then at the rate i have a endpoint and in the bracket dot star it means that we have passing something from the given statement and that should be treated as a parameter so we have passed that as a parameter in the definition method so it says public wide given i have endpoint and in the curly bracket in the bracket the parameter is passed as a string endpoint so today we have seen how we can add the feature file and step definition file to get more videos please subscribe my youtube channel automation tech group thank you so much